Hey guys, Kaysera here, and welcome back to another episode on my family server. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse at the beginning of the episode. Uh, I did a little bit of terraforming on the grass just over that hill right there, as well as. Boom. I don't want to go up there. <laughs> As well as some work. Let's see if we can. I know we can see it from over here. We just got to get in the right spot. Some work over that way. And I know we can see it from here. It's just a little bit tricky. Um, mm. Probably easier to come up in here. Maybe. Say, can we get up here all the way to the top? Maybe there we go. Okay, all the way to the top and pop up right here. All right, there you go. So you can see over there that is uh, the time lapse that you watched. So there's uh, three circles, one quarter of a circle, which is right there, and a very, very large rectangle. Um, and that is actually where our castle is going to be. I wanted to go ahead and get it marked out in a very recognizable block. Um, I did do wool. Uh, I tend to lean towards doing the magenta when I do stuff like that. I didn't want to do it all in magenta, but I will probably never, ever use magenta wool in building. So I go ahead and use it for uh, layouts when I'm doing something big. And then, of course, we've got the red and the blue in there as well. And the other area... I'm going to break these crops, aren't I? Nope. Okay is right over here uh, and we are going to have to do some some terraforming right in this area but i'm thinking this will be the path to go over here and then this area is where i want to transplant or even just use the sheep that are here like that guy uh, and put our animal farms over here because um, i don't really want them over there permanently and in these, this forest over here is where, oh, wrong way. Ooh, there you go. That's a good view. Aww. Is where our village is going to be that is part of, not really part of the castle, but um, it'll be outside of the castle, so to speak. It'll be like like the farming village. Um, so we need to move the farms over yonder. Uh, the wheat, for the most part, I think will stay because people need to eat regardless of where they are. Uh, but today, before we do any more work on any of this uh, castle stuff, I have, I think, decided on a palette. And if I remember, I will go ahead and put it on the screen right now. Uh, it is obviously a lot of stone, a lot of uh Variants of stone, so cobblestone, andesite, regular stone, uh, stone brick, cracked stone brick, the mossy varieties as well. But there's also uh, a lot of blue. So the uh, blue concretes are in there, cyan concretes. Uh, there is quartz. Oh. Uh, there's quartz and uh, our wood is actually dark oak planks with a spruce um, oh my I don't know where to go Maybe up here uh, with a spruce log I just I don't like the way the dark oak logs look up against the gray. Um, so what we, what we need, what I'm doing in the nether here, we need a 
that where I just came from? Yes. So, I need to go south. West, north, south? Uh, south. Hmm. Interesting. Um, what we need is some dark oak and uh, a whole lot of sand. So I've picked out a, a, a desert that we can mine as well as, let's see, I can't go through here. I know it's been way too long. I don't remember where my Mesa portal is. <laughs> Um, it's, it, the, the mining desert is going to be out past the mesa and there's actually a fairly good sized dark oak forest next to it, which I think we're going to, I'm going to use for mass cutting if I need to. Obviously I can get, uh, dark oak saplings, you know, from the closest location, but, um, you know, for, for easy mass cutting of something that's already there and not having to wait for trees to grow or bone meal them or all this stuff, I'm just going to use the dark oak forest, dark oak forest, wow, uh, that is out next to, uh, I wish I knew where my portal was, that is out next to the desert. Um, so you know what, let me go ahead, I'm going to find the path I made that goes to the mesa, wherever it is, and uh, I'm going to go down that and go down until I figure out where uh, this desert is, and when I get there, I will bring you guys on back. All right, everybody, I am still on my way to uh, where it is we will actually be digging and where the dark oak forest is it's a bit that way still uh, but we have reached the desert and we have found a village and I figured I'd go ahead and bring you guys on back to take a look at it and see what we've got because there's going to be a another portal fairly close to this area what are you leather worker how about a librarian that would be great um hmm. carrots and potatoes would be really great actually uh potatoes i don't know how many of those i actually have currently do we have any librarians librarians Hello? Do we have a library? Well, I think this village uh, might not quite have what we're looking for. Do these guys ever? There we go. Okay, two seats. Um, I don't see a blacksmith or a library or anything librarian nothing all right i'm gonna keep going i'll be back all right guys we have another little village coming up hopefully before it gets too dark oh i see a white coat i see two and a library this is good signs librarian or three i don't know Glass protection? No. What's in here? I'm gonna need to grab these. These are good things. Okay. Let's see. Photographer. Flame. Group three. Prefer. Hmm, I don't see a blacksmith. 
want to get out of here because uh, it's nighttime. So I'm going to keep going. I'll see you in a few. All right, everybody. We are in a third. Hello. Third village. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, we've got some good librarians here. Fortune 2. Feather Falling 3. Unbreaking 1. Uh, there is... Oh, that's a creeper. I don't want you to hurt any villager. Can you... Yeah, okay. And we do have a blacksmith. So let's... Oh! All the shiny things. I am not going to have any room for sand. This is lovely. Okay. That's a good find. Um, I'm going to come in here and grab these books too, I think. Because one can never have too many books. All right. And... Do we have any more librarians anywhere? Over here, maybe? Nope. 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 Doesn't look like it, but this is not a bad village. And we're also not terribly far from where we need to go. I know I said that before, but uh, we were actually still quite a ways away at that point. Let's see. Nope. No. Hey guys, I don't see any librarians there. So where we're going is just, nope, no, oh shoot, this way and this, so this way, right here. And I'm going to go ahead and get digging and I'm going to do a lot of sand digging with space that I have available still. Let's see right there. And I'm going to take this back. I'm going to try to mark out some nether coordinates and whatnot. And I'm going to start mining the desert. I may make a diamond shovel. This is going to need a diamond shovel. All right, guys, we are back from our desert expedition, and I have a fairly good amount of sand. Uh, now, while I was there, you can see in my inventory right here, uh, I did plunk a, <laughs> a singular cactus from the desert. I grew it up just a little bit because I realized, looking at that lonely little cactus, that I was using cyan. Cyan requires not only this this blue color right here, but it also requires a green. And where do you get green? You get green from cactus. So what we're going to do, I think, for the rest of this episode is make just a little itty bitty cactus farm. Uh, actually, I need glass. So one thing I don't have, well, I guess I don't really have to have it, do I? No, it doesn't have to be glass. Um, mm, I kind of want it to be glass, though. Let's just cook up a little bit of this here real quick. What we're going to do is go over to... Uh, the the area where the time lapse was so over yonder and I'll show you how I'm getting there right now and kind of what I'm thinking terraforming while we head over there but I want to uh, there's actually a little area in there that would work really really well as a uh, sort of a garden area do I want this colored I don't think so. Not with any of the colors I have available at any rate. Let's just grab a little bit more here. There we go. I think 32. 
Uh, let's see, eight, nine. Or that should be enough. We're not making a very big one here, so um, 48, I think, will be enough. I think I also escaped a cow. So for the terraforming, I do want to pull this back. Obviously, we've got our, our enchanting set up in here, and I died. Uh, so I haven't enchanted anything yet. And then this is all going to get pulled back, and all this is going to be a, a space to walk over here. And then right here... Uh, obviously, we need to be able to have a, a smooth transition up, so this will all be fixed all through here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do right here quite yet. And then over there, like I said earlier in the episode, ow, uh, that is going to become, uh, I guess, like a... I don't know if we're going to put crops over here. If we do, it won't be many uh but we are gonna put the animals over here maybe we'll put the crops kind of along the river that'd be cool it'd look good too we might do that on both sides of the river just kind of line crops up maybe put a couple little like canoes i wonder what a canoe hmm. so there's our square which you can uh that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Which you can see up there. And it's actually where we're going is kind of underneath the square. Um, or rectangle, I should say. Yeah, so there, there's the circles in the back corner. So there's the, uh, the big tower. And we've got two little towers in front. Um, there's probably going to be more. Uh, this is sort of like a balcony area right here. So all of this would be open balcony, maybe a garden or something. Um, and I might, you know, wiggle stuff around and make it bigger as we build it. But for now, I, I do actually really like the size of those towers. I laid them out in a creative world with um, some world edit, doing some spheres. And it looks good all built up. Uh, but what I want to do is come over in this area and I want to make this area sort of like a uh, palace gardens think I bring okay good I do have torches <laughs> that would have been bad um, palace gardens it's really pretty uh, and we can put you know some kind of castle structure up above it and it's already got a waterfall a creeper um, some nice caves, everything you would want from from your gardens. Maybe not the creeper, but yeah, you know. I'll put that up there. Put a little bit of light in here. I don't want to get attacked while we make a little mini cactus farm. I'm not going to do anything huge like I've done uh, on Fablecraft and Mysticraft. It's going to be what is that oh my is that water over there no! oh okay okay i think we are at least sufficiently lit enough at this point to uh, avoid catastrophe. And I want to go ahead and put the cactus farm here just because if it's, I do want this area to be a bit of like a, mm, we're going to cover that up, a bit of a, you know, really pretty garden and cactuses are green and they're plants and where else do you put green plants but in a garden. And I think I want to kind of tuck it in right here. Is this wide enough though? We don't need a whole lot of space. I think it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that'll be wide enough. So if we come right in here, and I want, you know what? Let's just do it right here. So if I want the the output chest right here, 
then the water no the um hoppers will come right into this chest let's go ahead and do a little oops actual work here uh let's get can we get one more actually we're gonna need couple at least there we go so we have an output chest here we have um hoppers coming into it from right there then we need to go back um let's see if it's a nine by nine well then i guess we need to go back nine yeah so Hoppers there, nine that way, and then four that way and four that way. All right, let me get digging. I'll be back. Alrighty, everybody, we are back, and I've got uh, our little hole dug out here. I did move the chest so that it was um, centered with the room. We'll just have to adjust this opening as needed. Uh, but it is a nine by nine with water in each corner, which leaves us you know this little hole in the center. So all items go directly to that hole and what we need to do now is lay out our grid pattern for the cactus now this is just going to go every other with the wool and it'll end up being uh, four across and four oops shoot <laughs> four deep and we're just gonna go like this there we go come on there like so and so i wonder if i can actually leave all the waters flowing around it right can i just leave these in will that work I've never done it that way but oh come on water <laughs> mm -mm. let me up there let me up let me up okay it does appear as though all the water is still flowing towards the center what happens if I nope what happens if I throw a block like over oh man we're here does it make it it does huh so that might be acceptable then I don't know if we're gonna have enough glass though uh, well, maybe we won't need it. Can I make it up there? Okay. So now what we need to do is sand and cactus. Uh, this is not going to be tall enough. But um, sand and cactus. And this whole room does need to be one taller. Because the cactus won't even try to grow like that so but well no because that won't break it hmm I'm not sure if we have enough glass or not oh goodness gracious come here you Let's get the water. <laughs> okay, there we go. Good walk. Okay. So let me dig out this ceiling and get all of the cactus put in. 
and then we'll take a look and see if we need to do some glass or if maybe we'll do because I could just leave I could just go like that I mean that would work So, like, um, if I take an this andesite, for example, and just put one there, one there. Oh, water. There we go. Put one there, one there. Uh, one right there, and one there. So, effectively, this cactus would still grow. And then it would break? Or does it need to be there? I think it needs to be there. So not the corners. So could do something like that too. I think that still works. Or we could use the glass. And the glass would basically go on this level too and it would just make a little square around all the cactus just like just like we're doing with that. So either way, it's going to work. Um, I tend to like the glass because it's pretty. But, I mean, that'll work. I do believe. So we could do that too. And that would work out just as well. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. What do I want to do? Where's the rest of my andesite? Come back. Okay, so we need sand there. Cactus. Cactus. And I don't know. I guess let's just use the andesite. I think it works. It's not, like I said, it's not as pretty, but it'll get the job done, I think. Fairly certain, anyways. <laughs> See. There. Right there. What is this? Oh. There. 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 One, two, three. Two. Uh, we're almost. No, I'm out. Oh, okay. I think that's all of it. Yep. So that'll do it. So now all we need to do is replace those eventually and put our water back. So we need one there, then we just need these two corners right here, like so, one right there, and one right there, and those should all flow to the middle, and then we just wait for the cactus. So I'm going to wait, and when we have some cactus, Hopefully, I will bring you guys back. All right, everybody. We are back and, well, there, there it is. There it is. We have a cactus. 
I did have to change out uh, the the blocks up here for glass for whatever reason. Um, it just wasn't growing, and I guess it doesn't. Um, so we do have glass up here now, and cactus is coming into the chest very slowly, but it is coming in. Uh, I don't think we need anything more than this for this room. Uh, eventually, you know, farther on down in the series and all that, we'll make that room nice and pretty. But for now, uh, it is close enough. I did some torching while I waited for cactus to grow, but it is close enough to this where we can work on this and um, the the cactus farm will run while while we're working on it, which is the idea. So I think that's actually going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're as excited for, for this as I am because it is I'm excited. Uh, I don't think we're going to start on that quite yet. Um, we do have our green being generated. So I think we're what we're going to do is work on the tower over there first. Um, and I've been working on tower designs just a little bit, but not anything too crazy. Um, I haven't, I haven't settled on a final design yet, I don't think, and I don't want to work on anything big until I know what I want, and we know what we want. So there is that, uh, that tower right there. I knew we could get over here to see it. So that one, which is over by the areas that we're making, but I think we'll go back over there next episode. Maybe we'll work on the tower, uh, but we will definitely work on doing some landscaping. I think I might move the animals over uh, between now and the next episode into the area that we terraformed earlier today. And we can get to work connecting all of these areas up and making a, a start to a cohesive castle, village, mining, farming, everything place and I see all this coal I need coal so bad I haven't mined oh dear that's that's not safe I haven't mined any coal out of this area yet at some point I'm gonna come in here just and tear it to shreds and get all the coal because I am in sore need of it so uh for now I'm gonna call it here I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye-bye.